Hey YouTube, Jay from YoVR. Today I'm going to be sharing my personal setup for recording videos for my channel. I've seen a couple questions specifically on my last video. Someone asked me about um, what software I was using for recording on my Galaxy X6. Um, so I figured the best way to do this would be just to sort of demo and show the software that I'm using for my setup. Um, and I think that'll be pretty helpful. So let's check it out. Now, the first thing you're going to want to download is this Mirop receiver. I'm running on a Mac personally, so this may be a little bit different than Windows, um, but this is basically the software that I'm using to stream the video from my phone um, to my to my machine. Um, I tried at least six different pieces of software, um, including one called Recordable, which seemed really popular with the Note users. Um, but unfortunately, it seems like that video software sort of cuts out around two seconds. Um, I found if I took the headset off and put it back on, it would pick up recording for another two seconds. Um, but obviously that was not ideal. So uh, what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna pop over here, let's see, land VR review scene, what other people think. Um, yeah, let's check out mirror up receiver. Obviously everyone knows how to use Google. Um, basically I've downloaded this, this window receiver um, right here. So if you go to mirrorop.com, you can download this window receiver. Um, and then we have our sender software. So the receiving software is what we're going to be running on our machine. Um, and then for our um, sender software, it's going to be what we're running on our Android. So um, I don't know why it says that routing is required. That is not the case. Um, yeah, what a weird note. That's definitely not the case. Um, as you can see, let me um, show you my phone real quick here. Um, what I end up doing is, let me get rid of some of my notifications. Yeah, so mind you, see on my, my screen there, it says mirror op receiver. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, mirror op sender, I'm sorry. If you click that, what it does, and you have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. So that's very important because it's sending all this video over Wi-Fi. Um, it loads up the software. Uh, it gives me a warning about no receivers being found. It's probably because I'm on the wrong Wi-Fi network here. Sure enough, I am. Let me, let me change that real quick here. Up on this Wi-Fi. Connecting. So connected to the Wi-Fi. Now I can pow I can you know launch this Mirop Sender software. Um, and then what'll happen is once it's once it finds once it connects, it'll say that hey, there's a receiver that's on this same network. If I'm on the right network, please be. Yeah, I'm on the right network. Um, as you can see, it'll say, um, hey. There's another, there's a machine on this network. Do you want to connect to it? And I said, yes, I want to connect to it. Um, and then um, I want to press this little, uh, this little play button right here. And what that'll do is it'll start sending. And as you can see immediately, what it does is it, it sort of mirrors my screen. Um, right now it's, it's um, in portrait mode, but um, you can just turn it, turn the phone itself. And it will fire into, oh, well, I need to probably have something that can fire into landscape mode. Um, but yeah, you get the picture. So what happens is I can go back to this, like, let's turn this and see if that works. So yeah, it's now you see I'm in landscape mode. Um, now what I end up doing is I use this, um, the software called ScreenFlow. Um, it's actually running up here. I don't know if that'll stop it. So yeah, that'll stop it. But like, let's see if I can't. I have another instance of screen flow here. Screen flow. What I end up doing is I end up, um, you know, when I'm editing this, I end up basically going here. Um, sorry, let's see, right there. And I end up cropping the video for um, the desktop as I capture it. Um, and then just basically it's its own track and it sits in the video. Um, I drop in some the video track and some audio. Um, and whatever, right? So let me just show you how this works. Let's continue. So once I had this set up, oh, by the way, this is a nightmare too. So the audio, it doesn't send any audio. So what I've got set up here is I've got a splitter 
Um, one that's running to my headphones. Uh, the other one is plugged. Um, so this black cable is going to be plugged into um, the headset itself. And um, yeah, so what that does is um, one piece audio sends it to, uh, the splitter sends it to, actually this is probably connected wrong. So what we want is we want the output. So I have this, this cable here. So what we want is the, let me unplug this up later. It doesn't make a loud noise on this video. Um, what we want is for um, this output to be connected to the phone here. Um, and what this is going to do is it's going to capture all the audio. Um, and then I've got it basically um, on the other end of this cable, I have two outputs as well. Um, one that's just um, essentially just a long coupler cable of sorts, which I plug into my audio interface over here on my resident audio T2, which is a Thunderbolt um, audio interface. Um, unfortunately, the Mac can't just capture a standard mic input. Um, it's super irritating, but you know, whatever. Um, you, I can live with that. And then the other, the other output is going to my headphones. That way I can hear what's going on. Um, and then once we pop in the phone, basically, that's pretty much it. So I pop in the phone um, and immediately, um, as soon as I put the, let me take my glasses off. As soon as I put this on, um, yeah, you can see, and I could put my headphones on if I wanted to. I don't know if I'm going to. Yeah, it's kind of out of the way. Oh, there they are. All right. Uh, oh, can't see what's going on here. Um, yeah, I can tap things here. And you should get audio. Um, I don't know if you can hear that. So if I were to like pop into like, I just popped into lands in the other day. Let's just pop in. This is taking a while to load. As you can see, yeah, we can see around and I can tap. Uh, oh yeah, I don't tap in this game. I'm gonna look around at that thing. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions in the comment section, let me know. I mean, um, like I said, this was, um, this was not a fun experience for me whenever I was trying to figure it out. And there were some really helpful people on Reddit that, that sort of pointed me in the right direction to get started. But um, I don't know how many of you guys might be banging your head right now just trying to figure out like, why is my, why can't I record on my Galaxy X6? Um, so I just thought I would share, you know, the stuff that I'm using to make it happen. Um, let me know if anyone has any questions in the comment section and, and don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'll be back tomorrow to do a demo of some of the Converge stuff. So that should be really awesome. Um, I hope you come check that out tomorrow.